Okay, so we're going to take a look at uh, some of these logs that we captured. Um, here you can see I have this one open. I call it edited. I usually make a copy of the original log. Uh, here you can see the original log. And I just the edited copy just allows me to delete things and sort things, move things around, and then I can still go back and look at the original log. So here we see we have a library not found for this smart search dot jar. So uh, it's having some trouble starting up. Uh, now notice these are just warnings and not, not errors. So if we look in our uh, system under our framework where it's supposed to be from the actual phone itself, we see here is the, here's the jar that we need. And so we're just going to copy that, put it into our um, vendor repository here. And I'm going to pause the video while I move these back and forth. And so now I've moved these jars back and forth. Now we're going to add them to our uh, vendor make file. And we're just, I just copied some lines and I'm copying the name of the, of the jar, putting that in there. Um, pretty straightforward. You've seen us do this kind of work before. Um, but it's important to uh, get all these jars. Now notice these are, these are just warnings and you might not think that that would be too important. Maybe we should focus on E for error or F for fail, but we're, we're looking at these W's for warning. And if you see later, it, it, these warnings become errors. You see here this dex, dex file, it can't do what it needs to do because this file does not exist. And we see this over and over and over again. So we're just going through, we're cleaning up the logs, we're solving these warnings and errors by putting the right files in there. So pretty straightforward. Um, and you can see the, uh, the process being done here. Once we get that done, we're going to uh, build and see what other errors and 